Okay, it has to be time for point of the week. Let's have a little break before we do all the gang channels and finish off. Um, we've now done all the channels in the body, okay? Stomach and spleen, liver and gallbladder, kidney and bladder, lung and large intestine, heart protector and triple heater, and heart and small intestine. Front, sides and back, front, sides and back. There we go. I hope that helps. <laughs> Helps remembering it, remembering um, where all the channels are. Okay, so now it's time for point of the week, one of my favorite points. It's a really good one. Um, and it's very close to large intestine 10. It's actually large intestine 11. And here it is. It's called Kuchi or Pool by the Bend. And I'll show you exactly how to find it. I showed you how to find it on my own elbow here. Okay, what you do is you take your elbow like this. You'll find that there's a crease here, like a little crease. You go down the end of it, and then you find a little hollow, which is just here. You can see this bone here. It's just in that hollow there, right at the end of the crease. It's pretty easy to find, actually. And it's just up the arm from large intestine 10 that we did last week. Okay, now this is a really important point. It's used for cooling the body. And it's very good for diverticulitis and things like that. I use it all the time for that. I put my hand on the client's abdomen and I'll work down the large intestine channel until I get there. And nine times out of 10, you'll feel the heat, the information reducing. It's really powerful. Um, <clears throat> so I'll just show you the picture again. Okay, and a bit like large intestine 10, it has several actions. The main action is it clears heat, but it's also used for digestion because of large intestines. So things like constipation, diarrhea, things like that, particularly if there's heat. So if there's like hot, smelly diarrhea, um, that's uh, associated with heat. Um, it's also used for the head, again, the eyes, toothache, the throat again. Um, but it's also used as a local point for the elbow and the upper arm. So I thought what we'd do is we'd do an NG exercise again, like we did last week for large intestine 10. And then I think I've got the poll. Let me just check. I've got, yes. Okay, then I'll ask you and see where you felt the action. Okay, so you want to try that? So we're going to, again, we're going to relax. Tune into our whole body. Take our arm like this. And I'm going to use, I'm going to do this and use my thumb like this. I'm almost like uh, folding my arms. Put my thumb right in there. I'm going to relax. And you're pressing in directly in towards the joint. Okay, good, right. So now I'm gonna just relax, tune into your whole body and see where you feel the action of that point. Do you feel it in the arm mainly, in the tummy, the digestive area, or do you feel it in the, in the head? Let's try it again on the other side. Okay, find the point again by going to the end of that crease, right in that hollow there. Okay, and I'm gonna close my eyes again Tune into my whole body, relax, gently but firmly press in to activate the point. Okay, and then just check out, do you feel most of the effect of the point in the digestion, the head, or in the arm, the upper arm? It's used for strengthening the upper arm. Okay, so I'm gonna run the poll. And we had a massive surprise last week. I wonder if we're gonna have a similar surprise this time. Um, so where did you feel the action of large intestine 11? Did you feel it in your head, the arm or elbow or the abdomen, or you may have felt it in or some, somewhere else. So let's just see. Amazing. Look, this is absolutely incredible. This is a very similar to what happened with large intestine 10, which you saw the shock on my face last week. And I've got the same shock again, because only a minority of us, of, of this group, felt it in the arm and the elbow, which is extraordinary when you think we're like pressing in our elbow, you think that's gonna be the first place that we're gonna feel it. But actually it's got stronger action for the group on the, in the head and face. And I have to say that's where I felt it the most. I felt a little bit in the digestion, but mainly in the head and the face. So it just shows you how strong these points are and how much they're connected. So thank you very much for that. That's absolutely amazing.